What characteristic makes someone creepy? Creepiness, to me, is about hidden danger, whether actual physical danger, or just danger of being pulled into an unpleasant situation. A thing that suggests that someone is hiding their true intentions, whether it's a guy who is pretending to be nice, but with whom you don't want to be alone, or a person who's smiling, but not really. One, doing things or approaching people with a sexual intent. Two, being overly intense and for some even overly unconfident in their actions. Too much of this and your interactions seem forced and weird. Three, stalking and everything in that category. Four, wanting to talk, interact with someone too badly. This always comes off weird. Sometimes this stuff is totally accidental, but try to stay away from basics like that. I'm going to go ahead and say a lot of it is dependent on attraction. I have a friend who got drunk off her ass and confessed to her BF that if he ever tried to leave her she thinks she may kill him before letting him walk away. She said he just smirked and said the feeling is mutual. Now I think this is creepy as hell but she liked it. L. She said it was comforting. Being unable to tell when you're making someone uncomfortable is the biggest factor of creepiness. Everyone makes social mistakes from time to time. But most people know how and when to tone it down when they feel the person they're talking to seems uncomfortable. A creep would be oblivious to the fact that someone is sketched out. I's comments. But what creeps me out are those people who one minute seem to be genuinely smiling and the next you actually see the light go out in their eyes. Like a predator honing in on its prey. I don't know how to describe it. But you can just see their eyes go darker even if they are still smiling. I think it's an inability to perceive and adapt to cues from another person's speech or body language which results in behavior that seems or is invasive or threatening. I think the key factor is the behavior being abnormal given the reaction of the other person. It's all about context. Touching a lot. Some people are just touchy people, but constantly touching me, especially my back when I haven't given you permission to. A&D actively try to move away. It's very creepy. Stop going out of your way to just touch me. If I set a small boundary and they cross it, for example, if they are in my personal space, I will move out of the way. If they come close again after I send a clear non-verbal signal, that's creepy. Lingering stares, invading personal space, or persistently trying to initiate contact despite clear signals of disinterest. Crossing someone's boundaries can quickly fit into creepy territory. People that always keep their head low, but instead of looking down they look straight ahead or stare at you. Like a Kubrick stare basically, it's really disgusting. When they have no concept of personal space or social cues that mean go away. I do not like you, but I'm trying to be polite about IT. I'm inadvertently creepy as I walk really quietly and I keep accidentally terrifying my girlfriend just by walking into rooms. If they figure out someone's schedule, like a gym schedule, and show up at that time just so they can watch chat with them. If they display intense, unwelcome attention, invade personal space, or exhibit unpredictable or unsettling behavior. When they make advances at you which are unwelcome because you find their appearance or manner of putting. Facebook friends that you also know asking about stuff you posted. I see little Janie went to the zoo. Publicly proselytizing, praying or preaching, quick grooming and indoctrinating people into your cults. Intense eye contact. I hung out with this girl, she would hardly blink or look away for even a second. T.I.L. being autistic and or introverted. And awkward is the same as creepy. Wow, fuck you guys. Bad hygiene. Staring. Knowing too much personal info about people that barely even know them. Being named, I've said on Reddit before, all guys named Larry are inherently creeps. When someone doesn't get angry, that then nostrils turn white. If you see that, run. Someone who, although outwardly kind, turns ill when they don't get their way. Being unable or unwilling to read and respond appropriately to social cues. One, being ugly. Two, being awkward. Three, misunderstand social or physical boundaries. One, awkward body language. Two, 
Not understanding social norms. 3. Being ugly. Men that are 1,000. Absolutely no exceptions against abortion. There are infinite ways for someone to be perceived as creepy. The haircut Javier Bardem had in no country for old men. When their facial expressions don't reach their eyes. Not being honest about their intentions towards you. Conveniently showing up wherever you happen to be.